This is how I made this awesome 3 printed miles per hour mask. First things first, for every good project, you want a good file. So the files I got from Do3D, and it will cost you around $25 for this um, file. It comes with multiple face shells. It also comes with multiple lenses, and it's just very nice. I like it a lot. It's working good. You have to align it next into your slicing software. Make sure it can fit. I have a 250 by 250 by 250 millimeter build volume, so it fits just fine. And it's actually fits my head pretty well. It's actually a little bit too large. But if you need to size this, you would want to check out sizing heads on Thingiverse. You measure from the front to your back of your skull with some calipers and measure with measuring tape and measure each side and measure that. Then it should have some heads, um, 30 models of heads, head one, head two, or head three. I'm a head two. So yeah, download that into your software, scale up the mask to fit that, the 30 model head and it should fit you every single time. After printing this, you would want to take off all the support to make sure it's nice. I ended up um, grinding away some of the rough pot spots and you can sand it if you want, but this is textured so I didn't end up sanding it. I painted it with red Rust-Oleum 2X spray paint for the lenses. And I painted with black 2X Rust-Oleum matte spray paint. It ended up turning out good. I like how the matte looks. It makes the mask look comic booky. This actually looks pretty sick. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it matte. It's like a nice, it don't need to be shiny. I ended up gluing the magnets in with super glue. Um, I use this Gorilla Glue. It works out pretty nice. I'm gonna have the link in the description for Amazon. And any super glue should work just fine. I think maybe even hot glue would work. But you wanna make sure you have all the magnets in the same direction. So I put a magnet behind the mask where I want and then plop it in, put some glue in and let the magnet jump in there. And then I'd slide the magnet on the back to the next spot and then let the magnet pull the other magnet into the right direction. And um, I kept on doing that. You want to make sure that the magnet you put on the back, you want to keep it that same direction, but you want to take it out and put the opposite side on the lenses and stuff. You want the magnets facing all the same direction. Took about 20 minutes to put all the magnets in with the super glue. I let it dry for like, shouldn't need to dry more than 20 or 30 minutes. And the magnets won't come out after that. I really enjoyed building this project. It was nice. Everything turned out good. I'm going to put the link to the mask in the description. And I'm also going to put affiliate links for all the spray paints and all the products I used during this video in the description. The links are affiliated. So if you do click on it and you go to buy it, it wouldn't cost you any more, but I do get a percentage from the seller. So it would help out with my channel a lot. Thank you for watching this one. I really appreciate that you guys watched. You guys are super awesome. And um, like, comment, subscribe, and check out some of my other videos. Thank you.